that she's being offered a job at the precinct thanks to Dion Lim from our affiliate KGO. And while it is a good thing that she got her laptop back, was it a good idea? Joining me now, retired LAPD Police Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey. Cheryl, good to see you. Hi, thanks. You were on the LAPD for 20 years. Assignments include vice, narcotics, the gang unit crash even. I'm assuming you have seen it all. What do you think about this when you see women literally supporting women and going after this person? Well, you know, the gut reaction when someone takes something that, that is of value to you, particularly our social devices, right, because our lives are in these right. things. And so uh, the gut reaction is to go get them. And, and listen, this was a female-on-female female situation. So, you know, we can look at another woman and kind of size them up <laughs> and think, you know, I can take her. So good for them. And, and it turned out great. But listen, this is not something you want to do on the regular because... You know, as a police officer and a supervisor, what I think about are tactics, and civilians don't think about that. But I think about what if there was another suspect who was laying in wait, right. who was just out of the view of everything that was going on that could have potentially had a weapon in their possession and hurt them. And so, um, you know, don't be encouraged, people who are watching this, to think that you should take the matters into your own hand, because, like, we're watching this. Suspects who have an idea about stealing property are also going to fine-tune their skills going forward. And the NBA dancer uh, said that she never knew she could run that fast. You must know what it's like, Cheryl, when that adrenaline kicks in. What is that like? Yeah, when adrenaline kicks in, I mean, you do have superhuman strength and you do things that are not in your character, but she's probably not even realized this was second nature. Right. She, she works out, she runs, she exercises, and so that just kicked in. She started running and, you know, not knowing that she was going to get involved in this kind of an activity, but she did. Her body reacted in the way that she had actually probably planned and practiced. I love that an officer offered her a job. Do you think she'd be a good police officer? Well, listen, you know, I don't want to second guess her. <laughs> Her judgment as a civilian, but as a police officer, she probably would have acted a little bit differently. Right, because you don't immediately react. Do you plan and think it out? Right, and then she would have the benefit of having a partner officer with her as well. And so, you know, there are considerations as a police officer that you have to take into consideration when you, in, in, uh, when you uh, approach someone, because if things go very badly, then you've got to explain how that happened. And so this didn't end in a, in a negative way. But if it had gone very differently, if someone had been hurt, if they had right. driven and drug her, um, we would be having a different conversation. Exactly. It just takes a millisecond for everything uh, to turn. Thank you, Cheryl yes. Dorsey, Thank for you. your take on that. I appreciate it.